Okay, this video is to introduce you to this website called codewars.com, which is where I'd like you to practice some of your programming skills and we can have a little bit of friendly competition and see how, see how our points um, stack up. What you will do, I've already got an account, but what you will do is you will go to uh, sign up here. So codewars.com forward slash join. And then the very first thing it asks you a little test uh, programming problem, hint. It's missing a return keyword, okay? Um, then you need to choose your language. So please choose Python and then you should be good to go. I'm just gonna sign in because I've done one already. <coughs> what you get um, when you first log in is a dashboard, all right? Um, and it suggests what your next function or your next um, challenge should be. What I'd like you to do, to do before that is go up to your little picture up at the top and do view profile and then uh, make sure that you are, uh, sorry, not view profile, account settings, and make sure that your clan is listed as King Edward's school, but with an apostrophe um, between the D and the S. So King Edward's school. If you do that, then we can see everyone's points on the leaderboard. Right, how does it work? Well, you get a bunch of challenges which are called kata, I don't know why, um, and you can search for them on the left where that magnifying glass is. And when you get to that, you can see it tries to um, suggest uh, a particular kata for you. It's a little bit <coughs> back to front in the fact that difficulty of eight Caillou is easier than difficulty of one Caillou. Okay. Um, I'm just going to search for ones that are eight difficulty just to get you started. You can see I'm on seven Caillou at the moment. Uh, let's have a look at this first one here. Convert a boolean to a string. That looks pretty easy. If we click on that, and it gives you uh, what it wants you to do: implement a function which converts a given boolean value into a string. Uh, only valid inputs will be given, so you don't need to do any testing. It's got people who've contributed you can ignore that uh, and then some similar ones that are linked at the bottom but what we want to do is this train i've done it before that's why it says train again <coughs> and what you get hang on pretend you haven't seen that what you get is a block of code or starting block of code at the top and then some tests that it's going to run so um they've given you the starting name of the function, so you don't need to um, invent the function that's already there. In this case, it's called boolean to string, and in brackets, it takes, I presume, a boolean. Let's just have a quick look at the test cases it's gone down here. You can ignore most of this, but line eight and nine are the important ones. Basically, it's testing whether or not if you do boolean to string with, and you pass it in the word true, sorry, the boolean value true, it outputs the word true, okay? Now you could write this <coughs> in a really complicated way, but actually the easiest way, and you all knew this, is to do return and then take that B, which is the parameter that you pass in, and convert it to a string. Once you're ready, and obviously not all uh, catters are this easy, you do test, and you get some nice feedback in a minute. It's all green when it's all passed, okay? It's not all this, always this easy. And then you click attempt, and this actually sends it with a bunch more tests to the server. There we go. It passed 102 tests. I'm cooking on gas here. Yeah, look at that. <coughs> and then I click submit. And it submits my final solution. And hopefully, there we go. It gives me some points. There you go. I went up by two points, I think. Okay. What you can also do, if you're interested, is some best practices, okay? So I found this really useful. If I come up with something I think is a bit dodgy, but it does work, you've got a load of other students or random people on the internet who've done it, and you can kind of learn a little bit from how they've done it. What would be really good is if when I go come back here, I can see uh, the list of people who are in my clan and how many marks you've got. So it should be quite fun, okay? Let me know how you get on.